Psycho is considered to be the greatest horror film, psychological thriller. There is always going to be this impending sense of, oh, are we doomed? Because there's going to be such high expectations. When I watched Psycho thinking about this show, first of all, you're terrified of making a TV show out of a freaking classic. But the second thing, I just was like, I love Norman Bates. He's such an endearing character. I just really connected with that. Do you go out with friends? Well, a, a boy's best friend is his mother. One of the very first decisions that we made was to make this a contemporary prequel. There was just no gain, in my opinion, in remaking Psycho. Yes, it borrows Norman, Norman Bates, it borrows the house, it borrows the motel, but instead, I think the core idea that Carrie Aaron and I began working on was what if we told the story of this iconic film character, Norma Bates? If you actually watch the original Psycho, she's a stuffed corpse. We don't really know anything about her. Everyone, this is Norma Bates. She just moved here not too long ago, so make her feel at home. The idea of writing Bates Motel, because it's such a dark subject, I wanted to try to find something in it so that it wouldn't be totally bleak, I guess. It's you and me, Norman. It's always been you and me. And we have to move on. We've always felt like it wanted to be a love story between Norman and his mom. Not in a incestuous sense, but in the sense that they were just inhumanly bonded. And the smothering love that she's kind of giving to this kid is what actually might catalyze him into becoming who he's going to become. But it's a flaw in his DNA. There's really nothing she can do about it. And that's part of the tragedy. Who am I, mother? Who am I and what do I do? You have to trust that I'm protecting you and I don't want you to ever ask me again. The world of Bates Motel, the surroundings of White Pine Bay, and that constant sort of contrast between the way that things go on inside the house, you know, the relationship primarily between Norma and Norman. They're a little bit out of time with the rest of the world around them. Part of my design for the show was to do a very cinematic take on the story, to create a timeless world, a world where these characters seemed like they were from the past, but actually coexisted in the future. We wanted to dial up the character stories from the first season to the second season while still having suspense. And to the window! Uh, uh, help!